So what is for each, uh, why and how do we use it? Now the reason why we use it is uh, to iterate through um, different elements of an array. Uh, this could be either the value when it's assigned to um, IDs, so when we assign, uh, let's say when we create an array of names, um, we create the uh, using the keyword array, and we have say Alex, Billy, and Dale. Now um, the ID of each of these is zero, one, and two. So we use the for each uh, in this way, and what it does is it's gonna um, loop, if you like, through each um, each value. So it's going to uh, loop through Alex, Billy, and Dale using zero, one, and two. So iterating through using the keys, basically. Um, I'll show you an example. That's probably the easiest way to uh, show you. So the first thing we need is the um, the array, the variable of the array. So we've got uh, names here, and then we use this uh, keyword as. So names as, and then something. So um, as let's just say um, value or values or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And then here we can echo out value. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo out value and then I'm going to append on the end of that a line break and we can come into our browser and check what that does. So you can see now it's, uh, it's basically removed. It hasn't removed them but it's taken each value and it's allowing us to use it um, on, on their own. So we're taking Alex, Billy and down. we can do what we want for that. So what we could do is create, say, a numeric value in here. Um, this is default zero, but obviously we can define it up here. So I can say num equals zero. Um, in fact, if we put this underneath, and then we can create this to one. So basically, this is going to um, increment every time. So I can say um, here the f the or name, and then append num is so this is going to say name one is Alex and then the next time round because we increment it here we're going to say name two is Billy and then the next time round because we increment is name three is Dale okay so let's just give that a test okay there we go so you can see now how this is a really really good way to extract um, the values from your array and then you can basically do what you want with them now we've got a slightly more um, intricate example um, if you remember uh, what we can in fact do is um, let's just get rid of this actually what we can in fact do is um, set the uh, key as this and then assign it a value so 21 um, in this instance I've got these as ages so Uh, the age of Alex here is 21, the age of Billy here is 16, and the age of Dale is 49. So what happens if I want to, um, or, and let, let's, let's have a look at what happens if we echo out the values here. So again, I'm going to append on a line break, and I'm going to refresh the page. So we've got the, the uh, ages here uh, rather than uh, Alex, Billy and Dale. So now what I want to do is I want to say that Alex is 21, Billy is 16 and Dale is 49. So the way I do this is use exactly the same, same structure as we've used here with the equals and the greater than sign. And then I say um, this is going to be value, but this here is going to be the key. So if we think of this as the key and this is the value, we're taking the key and the value from the array. So now what we can do is we can construct a sentence which is going to be name is age. Okay? So um, we basically don't need that. At the start, we use the key, we append that on, and then we end with the age. So what we're essentially saying is the first time round, we're saying Alex is 21, then we're saying Billy is 16. And then we're saying Dale is 49. So we're basically just uh, taking the key and the value and displaying them like this through the loop um, 
through the array. So refresh, you can see that, ah, okay. Uh, let's see what's happened here. Okay, yeah, so obviously uh, I've put in age there when in f actual fact that variable is named value. So that's just me thinking about the literal uh, word age. So now if we refresh that, um, we, haven't had a, we haven't got a line break on there, but you can see the general idea. If we just pop a line break in there quickly, you can see that um, we're taking um, the key and the uh, value of that key and we're echoing that out. Um, so that's basically what the for each um, construct is for so the for each construct basically takes us through um, the keys and the values of our array and allows us to uh, display them um, each sort of each value um, we can also do things like uh, let's just say if key doesn't equal uh, Alex um, Okay, so basically we're looping through each thing. So the first one's going to be Alex, the second one's going to be Billy, and the third one's going to be Dale. So if the key doesn't equal Alex, then echo it out. So this is basically going to just filter it down. Uh, so you can do things like that inside. As it is a is in is in logical terms, it's a loop, but um, it is actually a construct, so it's not regarded so much as a loop. But it does just allow you to uh, loop through each element of the array and take out the key and the value. So that's basically uh, the for each construct.